on June 3rd of 2012. I was out for a bike ride and uh, I had a sudden cardiac arrest. I got off my bike and collapsed and uh, I was uh, helped by several bystanders. You know, paramedics were called, then I was transferred to a, a nearby hospital. My wife, who is a doctor, uh, came and reached out through her network of contacts and we figured out, uh, or she figured out pretty quickly that um, hypothermia treatment was, was the best course of action um, and that there was excellent treatment to be had at Penn. Um, and so I was transferred there. Within 12 hours or so of my incident, I was put into the hypothermia treatment, um, which is a process where they cool your body about 10 degrees to allow your body to recover and to reduce the chance that there is uh, brain damage following your recovery. Um, and then you're kept at that state for, I believe, about 24 hours. So I was in a medically induced coma for about a week. Um, following the hypothermia treatment, they, they very carefully monitor your progress and bring you back um, at a very measured pace. I was feeling great pretty much uh, as soon as I woke up. You know, took a few months to get my strength back, but I'm now 100% recovered and have been for, for a while now. I travel quite a bit for work. I've been to Asia, we've been to Africa, um, and the defibrillator has gone everywhere with me. It's my you know, new best friend, um, and I, I feel you know, 100%, I'm um, as strong as I was before. My cardiologist has given me the green light to push as hard as I want. Um, and so I, I very much feel like I'm living, you know, as full a life as I would have lived had this never happened. So I have wonderful things to say about Penn and the quality of the care that I received there. And uh, from Dr. Bella, who, who oversaw my, um, my time in the hypothermia treatment center to Dr. Frankel, my cardiologist, there was a, you know, there was a complete continuum of care going on from the first moment I arrived until the day I checked out. My parents are both research biologists and they ask a zillion questions about pretty much everything. And they peppered the doctors with questions endlessly. Um, and they constantly felt like we were getting great care. They're, they're not a easy people to impress, um, but they were, they were thoroughly impressed with the quality of, of the doctors that were treating us at Penn um, and how much they knew about the fields they were, they were in. Um, and we always felt like this was you know, the best place I could possibly be. I didn't you know, choose and research all this ahead of time, but if I had, uh, I would do it 100% the same way again. They helped save my life and I wouldn't be here otherwise. My life is worth Penn Medicine, isn't yours?